Aquarius, this is all about you. Your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Like, like guys, let's just jump, just jump right in. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus could be particularly important. Um, but actually, the link is below. The link in the description box below will take you to the extended video. I do a full oracle card spread here. Let's get right into it. And then the link below will take you to the extended full tarot card spread and the romance reading. So um, if you've just arrived at the channel, if not, you're old experts and you already know. If you've just arrived, hey, subscribe. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live. And you know when I upload all this content. All right, Aquarius, let's see where this is headed. Your crowning energy just popped out. I just wanna see if the shuffle yields any more info. Okay. Aquarius. More and more and more, we're understanding things from a different, love is all around. Okay. Okay. Love is all around. Aquarius. You know, I got this, I have to say, look above. I'm going to attach it, the um, Romantic Tarot, which projects like a week out <clears throat> for like the weekend, next weekend. Aquarius, there seems to be some sort of love potential. And what's interesting is there's something that's dying down, but there's this like this glimmer of hope. And I'm not sure that it's with a specific person or like that person that things were dying out with, or if it's letting things die out is what is bringing this glimmer of hope you're just starting to anyway watch that video just watch it it's important for you to watch anyway love is all around okay so this is also sharing your gifts with the world this is actually love like being the love like be love being the love itself aquarius like sharing your gifts announcing things speaking having speaking engagements talking using your voice music sharing it with the world in a rhythmic pattern in a way that in a way that people can really understand it and digest it so aquarius People are going to be listening to you this week because you have the ability to put things in a way that they'll want to hear them or that they'll want to understand them or that they'll be able to understand them. You know how music just helps things make sense for us because it's not all words, it's rhythm to words and then it's, it's vibrations that are music to words. So it's almost like you're going to be music to somebody's ears maybe hearing from you or hearing your voice or hearing what you have to say. Um, there is you almost being that speaker or that conduit for the love. So this could also be blatantly love. And basically you, I don't know, maybe you're going to dedicate a song to somebody or, um, or basically just tell somebody that you love them or have love all around you and, and people singing your praises. So it could be a little bit in reverse too, in that you have people not being able to get enough of you or, um, constantly telling, saying good things about you. Um, some sort of shared expression of love this week is very, very prominent. Now, in terms of love, I'm broadening it because this is still the general reading. So it could also be like, it could also be that it's, it's, it's that general love. It's that bigger love. It's sort of connectivity and understanding, but let's read on and see, because I don't, that's not, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Aquarius, I'm really excited for you. Okay. Okay. Love is all around. That could also mean that you have more than one option. Okay. All right. Let's see. More and more and more. It just flew out. I don't know what you got going on. Aquarius, are you engaged in somebody from the past? Is there somebody from your past that's coming back? Take time out. Uh, there's going to be a good reason for you over the next seven days to... Um, relax your schedule a bit. You're going to maybe want to call in sick. There is a feeling of not being sick, but there's definitely this healing of what's going on outside of your responsibilities is really what you have to focus on. There's an energy of being lost in almost like this bubble of, or this, this not, I don't want to say mist because mists can be deceiving, but almost like, yeah, amidst this energy of 
get lost. Let the moment take over you. Like let, let this sweep you off your feet, Aquarius. You could be getting swept off your feet. Now this could be a long-term relationship. You could be traveling. You could be going, you know, you know, like, like going on vacation for the holiday season. Um, this could be an impromptu uh, visit. This could just be you, I don't know, singing carols, but there's an, there's an energy singing carols and like going door to door type of thing. But there's an energy of taking yourself out of the hustle and bustle and allowing yourself to live in this very festive, very special moment. Mm. And nine, see that the, the, uh, the, mm. the number nine is implying to me there's a nine. I, I'm looking at a nine right now too. There's a couple of nines. Oh, wow, you have 999 nine, nine in your reading. There is definitely something coming to a culmination or coming to an end. Like you're going to get answers very soon. Something is going to be very, very clear because 10 is the end end. But there is this, there's, there's this sense of things coming, com, like coming to their pinnacle, coming to the peak being prepared to be over with but it's a good it's a good thing it's like a healing energy of just um getting ready for preparedness that's all i keep hearing just being prepared this could be you this <laughs> This could be you being defensive too because you know that something is in the air you know that something is stirring and you're sort of just sort of almost preparing yourself, like locking yourself down from it in a defensive way. Hmm. Interesting energy. Why would you do that, Aquarius? It's not even necessarily that you're playing hard to get. There are so many wonderful things that you've been working on that are really coming to fruition this week. And you see that your creations are getting a lot of notice and a lot of praise. Um, you're going to be dripping in the honey. So there's something very, very sweet about the next seven days. Ooh, I just got the chills. There's something very sweet about the next seven days. And that's what, why I'm feeling like you're really in this, this energy of allowing yourself to just be in the festive moment. Whatever holiday you celebrate, basically taking time off, decorating the house, going to pick out the Christmas tree or putting up the menorah. I don't know when Hanukkah begins, but you could be just engaging in activities that aren't so busy because you've earned the ability to just enjoy the sweetness of your success. Or you are basically... Um, yeah, deciding to block out all the hustle and bustle to enjoy the taste of the honey this week. 747, you could be traveling. I just got more of that. This is another nine. There is always enough. You have a lot of good stuff going on in your life. You don't have to worry. You're at a point in your life where you don't have to worry. It's like it's like finances are good. Relationships are pretty solid, pretty good. Like there's people around you that love you. There's activity. There's stuff for you to do. So there's good stuff happening and yet I'm getting this take time out somebody's gonna have to talk you down from your ledge this week of keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep going keep going keep going because you are definitely oh maybe you're the one making people pause making people listen or you're just like stopping to hear the music or stopping to smell the roses Hold on, there's more romantic energy coming. Time for a deep dive. Aquarius, this is romance. I can't say it any, any other way. And this is like high, this could be high romance. So get it, the feeling of getting lost in the season, the feeling of letting it overtake you, the feeling of romantic as in the romantic era of, of seeing things like la vie en rose, of seeing things through rose colored glasses and actually allowing it. This could be you fighting it a little bit, not really wanting to allow yourself to give over to this energy. But honestly, at least by the end of the week, you're not gonna really have a choice. And the smart decision is for you to please let go and don't be defensive and just let it happen because something wants to pour into you. This could be also a very, like, I know this could be a very, I was going to say masculine energy, even though bear is usually female. It's actually a, a really protective energy. So this could also be you basically deciding to stay with your family and be around your family. Return home, go back home, build your home, decorate your home. Um, wanting to be around 
your children or your husband or your wife wanting to be in that energy and allowing yourself to be in that energy, allowing yourself almost be maybe standing up for and defending somebody in your family that might need defense this week. And of course you will win because the world is on your side and whatever way you describe something this week, people are going to listen to and they're going to cast their bets in your favor. So this is you winning. If you take on any kind of fight, any kind of conflict, if you're in act in defense of anybody, including yourself this week, you will definitely be listened to and you will definitely be the victor. I can tell you that right now. But I'm also getting this energy of this big, bulky man. So if you are in any way attracted to men, this could be that energy of this person coming towards you or somebody that is like generous of body, like big, big, not, not necessarily fat, but big, strong, burly. They have a burly energy. And if this is a female, they have a burly energy too. They might be larger in size, but I think it's more this energy of becoming the bear, of being ferocious. But, okay, I just got this. Bears like honey, don't they? So this is like allowing yourself to dip into the sweetness. And there's some sort of sweetness that this bear is after. So somebody could be after you in hot pursuit that you were like, get away, get away, come here, stop, stop. But I don't think that you'll ever be... I, I have to tell, I have to work with this energy. Give me a second because there is definitely love swimming around you. I, I can't ignore that. I try to save the romantic specific messages, but I can't ignore that. There's definitely love swimming around you and you just dripping in it. And somebody, either you or somebody else looking at this person like they are just honey and they want to Winnie the Pooh it, baby. They want to dip in your honey bowl and lick. Mm, that's the energy that I'm saying. And there is enough to go around. So Aquarius, uh, maybe this is multiple people. But maybe this is polyamorous relationships. Maybe this is just, um, maybe this is just abundance of emotion and abundance of honey. But there is so much just sensual, luxurious energy. I'm not sure you're completely prepared for it. That's why I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of a defensiveness. Time for a deep dive. Somebody is definitely diving deep. Diving, diving deep into what, Aquarius? I want to know what you've got going on. But you are thinking about taking the plunge. The plunge into something that really matters to you, is really decadent, and something that's a little bit too irresistible for you. You just can't say no. This is about like, like a bear to the honey. It doesn't even care if it's getting stung like crazy. It's just going to be like... You've seen Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I know you have, man. No, you have. Okay, um, let's move on because another card has popped out. Know your worth. Why am I going to Disney? Like these are all Disney movies. This is this is this is flower. Remember the little skunk? Usually this is like a stinker. You've got a stinker in your midst. Something stinks. Or maybe you don't trust something, but this is an energy. But this to me is like little flower. You know, the little skunk who was just all kinds of lovey-dovey. And he was so cute. And he was like romantic. That's what I think. Like there's this energy of high romance this week. Of just losing yourself in the flowers. And maybe forgetting who you are. Like letting, letting this passion and letting this energy overtake you. And forgetting who you are a little bit. Which isn't necessarily like you. But isn't that what this is about? Like take time out. Taste the sweetness. Don't worry about it. You got it. Everything is enough. There's abundance here. You don't have to, you don't have to. Maybe you're worried about the stinking later on. And this is why you're a little bit defensive. See, this is a nine too. Nines are usually defensive or protective energy. You're preparing. It's like you're preparing for something. You know that something is coming. So I feel like there could be this energy where you're trying to overthink this. You just are, you're overthinking it instead of just letting it be and, and letting yourself indulge and enjoy, which is what you should be doing. At least I think I still got to get your grounding energy. So hold on, Aquarius. This is Aquarius energy. It's coming out little bit by bit. Oh no, but life is speeding up. And this is also my 
um, DNA. So this could be conception as well. It's not my fertility card. I didn't get rabbit, but this could be <clears throat> about conception or meeting somebody that you want to conceive with. Two becomes one, baby. This is Gemini energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but this is things picking up and going quickly. And maybe that's the energy that you're trying to combat, this energy of things moving too fast. But there's an acceleration here of what? Of what? Life is speeding up. This romance is speeding up. The abundance is speeding up. There's a lot of abundance coming into your life. I hope you're ready. I also, it also indicates maybe travel. And once again, traveling, going somewhere. Um, life being a little bit hectic, but in a very good way. Like hectic in an abundant way. Not in a, you have so much to do because you're afraid you won't have enough. But in the energy, this is also a Gemini energy. Sing your own song. Aquarius, somebody is listening to what you have to say, you being listened to, you being heard, or you hearing their call. Either way, you're being able to put things in a way that people would, like I said, want to hear. Now, look at this, Nightingale and Canary, it's like you're singing to each other. Ooh, have you been calling to somebody? Have you been manifesting a relationship? Have you been sending out those vibrations, which is what music can translate into? Who are the vibrations that you're sending it to? What are these good vibrations? Because somebody is picking up what you are putting down, okay? You are harmonizing with somebody this week. There's a lot of harmony in your life. So even if it's not about a particular person, you'll start to see that things are working out. Things, things are go, like go with the flow this week because the harmony is there. The vibrations are all set and uh, turn knowledge into wisdom. Dealing with wolf energy. Howl at the moon, baby. So something could have popped off. Aquarius around the full moon because this is who this is more singing the songs, but this is like the hidden song. This is like the soul song, the song of your, your soul. This is like moon energy. Think of hidden. This is your hidden, your hidden, your id, your beast, that beast inside that wants to hop out. Oh yeah. This is definitely sexual. This is a uh, scorpionic energy. So this is the, in the darkness, that song of the darkness, the song to the moon, singing to the moon. You could be singing to a Cancerian or a Pisces. There is just a very emotional connection, intuitive connection that is actually coming into just the normal world, like, like being translated into it. You can't hide it anymore. There is this energy of wanting to hide it, wanting to hold back, wanting to resist, wanting to keep this hidden, or this could be the energy of this person. Hold on. Okay. So do you see this? This is like hearing the call. This is the call of the wild. This is id energy. This is your this is your grounding energy and this is your crowning energy. So uh, out, outwardly, people are listening to you. They're hearing your call or you're putting your call out there. Aquarius, I don't know if it's you calling them or them calling you or the bottom line. Bottom line is you are calling each other and you are coming together. Look at this. There is this energy of hearing each other's call and harmonizing with somebody. So they may not be somebody exactly like you, but they're definitely somebody that you can't resist. There is this deep primal energy that is calling or, or creeping out of you this week. Now, let it happen. Take the time out. This is why. Take a week off of work. Enjoy yourself. This is going to be an energy that you really can't fight and you can't resist. It wants to come into you one way or the other. And I got to say, it's popping through. This is very sensual energy. And it's an energy of two cards here and implying that you might be trying to hold it back or trying to resist it. And I could not for the life of me understand why. Because you know I'm my Cancerian self. I just want to jump right into this shit. Like, like seriously, if this was a cancer reading, I would have ended it. How long is this? 18 minutes? I would have ended it 17 minutes ago. Because as soon as cancer see a reading like this, they would have been like, peace out. <laughs> they would be like, <laughs> they'd be like oh, oh, where's the deep end? Let me jump in. You know, I feel like there's just a hesitation with you. Now, there could be something else that wants to come through, another energy, like who is this? Who is it gonna be? All that stuff, we're gonna find out. And who's coming towards you is on this video. On Like, look at the link below. There's also who's coming towards you energy that's going to, that could maybe add some light to this reading. Um, but this is your full romance reading. Let's see what comes out in uh, the extended. I'll see you over there.